Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike, your favorite Italian here, and today I'll be doing a review of the Puma Hard Shell Stripe Case for iPhone 4 and 4S. Let me just give you a quick tour of the packaging. Now on the back, it says it's designed to fit perfectly and protect the iPhone 4 and 4S, and you also have access to all your ports and buttons, and you have cutouts for your camera lens, flash, speaker, and microphone. Now in the packaging, all you do get is the case itself. Now right away, something that's different about this case is that it's made out of polyurethane leather, so it's kind of like a satiny feel, but the bad thing is you do attract a lot of fingerprints on the case, even though it's satin, as you can see there, all the fingerprints. I wish it was more satiny so it would not attract fingerprints, but I guess that's what you get with the polyurethane leather case. I do have to complain about something before I put this case on, is that there's a sharp edge right here, and it's the only sharp edge on the whole case. And I wish they ha would have more attention to detail because if there's one sharp edge, there usually is many, but it would help if there was no sharp edges whatsoever. Now, installation is very easy. You can put it in button side first or right side first. I usually put it in right side first. And then you just take the other side and snap it down. Let's just take a quick look at the cutouts. Now, on the bottom, you have a very nice cutout for your speaker, 30 pin dock connector, and your microphone and you will not have any problems with any third party cables as there is a whole cutout for the 30 pin dock connector. Now on the side there is easy access to your vibrate switch and your volumes up and down so you do not have any problems with those. Now on the top there is also a big cutout for your headphone jack and your sleep awake button and any right angle jacks will fit in here as it is totally exposed on the top. Now after using this case for three weeks to a month I have found out this is a perfect case for me as I love middle mostly cases that do not add a lot of bulk, but do protect your phone somewhat. I wish Puma would have a little more attention to detail, as there's always something wrong with the paint, you know, no matter what case I have. As you can see on this case, it is on the side, the little paint chip, and I had to return the case because there was a little chip right there, and it also did stretch out. There was a nice contrast between a white iPhone and this black case, but I think it would look even better with a black iPhone, as it would kind of match this, and there would be a nice contrast with the white. You're probably asking me, I went to Puma's website, I don't see the case. Why is it not there? Is it fake? No, it's not fake. The only authorized reseller is Best Buy. And at Best Buy, it does retail for $29.99. So it's kind of an expensive case, especially for being this unprotective. But I still think it's a good investment. This case does have pretty good drop protection. So if you do drop it on the face from about 4 feet, your phone will survive. Now taking this case off is another complaint of mine because it's very hard. What you have to do is you kind of have to grab a side and hold on to the button and then push the bottom part down and then grab the top with another finger and keep pulling the button and kind of just keep pulling it back, keep trying to pull the phone out and once it gets to there you can usually just take your phone out. So if I had to rate this case I would rate it a 9 out of 10 as there is sharp edges but there is good drop protection. If there was no sharp edges, I would give this case a full 10 out of 10. Remember to check out the website down below, ilovegadget77.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So, peace. This video is sponsored by LuckyArmCharm.com. Visit their website for some awesome new Lucky bracelets.